Welcome to the DSpace 7 tutorials from DSquare Technologies. Let us learn how to edit a collection in DSpace. We will cover various options available within Edit Collection section. Log in using your credentials. Go to the Edit option under the Management Console appearing on the left-hand side. Click on the Collection link. You will notice a prompt showing the collections list on which the user has edit rights. Enter the first few letters of the collection. And click on the collection name, as demonstrated in this video. We will start with the Edit Metadata tab. That is used for profiling the collection. Let us click on the Edit button to add some metadata elements. That will appear as the templated value during the item submission in this collection. Click on the Add button to have a metadata field as a template. Enter the metadata element value as demonstrated in the video, and select the desired element from the drop down list. Enter the value required as a template during the item submission process in the selected metadata field. Please note that the depositor can edit this value during the submission subject to the appearance of the metadata field in the submission form. Click on the checkbox to save the value, then click on the Save button to complete the process. Let us go back to the Collection Edit section to understand other modules. Click on the Browse link to upload the Collection logo. As per requirements, update the Collection title in the Name field, Introductory text, and other Collection profile information available on the page. Once complete, click on the Save button to save all changes. Upon successful execution of the command, you will be redirected to the collection home page. Now, we will understand the access rights management for a collection available under the Assign Roles tab. Assign Roles tab has a variety of roles addressing collection administration, content submission, items and attachments access rights and managing roles for item submission workflow. Let us add a user and a user group as collection administrators. Click on the Create button to add the administrator group. And go to the group to add users and user groups. Add users by searching a username or by browsing using the Browse All button. Click on the Add button appearing next to the username to assign rights to the user. Similar to assigning roles to individual users, we will assign roles to a user group. Click on the Browse All button and click the Add button next to the target user group. You will note, User Group is added as a subgroup in the Collection Administrator group. While the process of adding users and user groups in the rest of the roles is similar. Let us see some key information in other roles. Default User Group added in Item and Bitstream Read is anonymous. Other groups can be added to these roles as well. The Content Source tab enables users to harvest data from external sources via the OAPMH protocol. Users can enter the required detail of external data sources in each field and determine whether to harvest only metadata, or metadata along with attachment reference, or both metadata and attachments. The Curate tab provides a variety of content curation options like Attachments file formats, checking the availability of mandatory metadata, checking hyperlinks in the metadata, and other custom curation tasks can be created. The Authorization tab manages a variety of policies related to a collection. Policies are created to manage various controls in a collection for a perpetual or fixed duration. Let us have a quick look at the policy creation form. In addition to the policy name and description, policy creators will select a policy action type, like read, write, admin, delete, withdrawn read, etc. Start date and end date help create policy for a fixed duration or determine the start or end date. Finally, adding users helps create these policies for all or a fixed set of users. Item Mapper helps users mapping items from other collections within the repository. Let us map one item for demonstration purposes. Enter full or partial item title to list results, and select target items for mapping. 
Click on the Map Selected Items button to complete mapping. Users will see mapped items in the Browse Mapped Items tab. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. We are listening. Please reach us, and we will be happy to assist you.